your competition is going to be judged by all of you. Now, how are you guys, how are you guys going to be the judges? Well, here's how it's going to work. After each one of those two competitions is over, we're going to walk around to each one of these trucks and based on your noise and your applause that you make for that truck, that determines who gets the win here tonight. Our first competition is going to be our best trick competition. Who wants to see a best trick competition? is our Monster Truck Best Trick Competition. Each one of these eight renegades will come out here and get two chances to give us their best trick. What kind of do you think these guys? We do things like, you know, big air, donuts, two wheel moves, stuff like that. Anyway, so whoever has the best trick based off your noise and your applause, that truck will be determined the winner here tonight. Now, I gotta ask you, how many folks want to see some good old-fashioned, side-by-side, straight-line, monster truck racing? Well, it just so happens that that's going to be our second competition here tonight, our monster truck racing competition. Each one of these monster trucks will line up right over there at that starting line right there. We have two racing lanes. One will line up on this side, the other one will line up on this side. They're closest to you guys. Now, once that light goes from red to green, it's pedal to the metal as fast as it can over those two first racing humps, blast down no man's land, that's a straightaway here, right over these two racing lanes, across that finish line, right where this uh, little uh, barrier is here, and that's where we'll crown our racing winner. Now you're probably asking yourself, Corbin, there's eight renegades out here, dude. How do we find a winner? Well, I'll tell you. Earlier today, just now, just a few minutes ago actually, our drivers were out here pulling those trucker flags. Here's where those flags become so important. That is the order that they'll come out in for round one of monster truck racing. And round one will take those eight monster trucks and eliminate them down to four. Those four trucks, water guy, please do not spray me, will be eliminated down to two trucks in our semifinals bracket. Oh snap, they got we're going to enter into our Renegade Monster Truck Championship Round Race. I didn't get wet. We'll crown our Monster Truck Championship winner. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, it's all about speed. It's all about acceleration. It's all about skill when it comes to a track like this. Because whoever can get the fastest off the line and the fastest down the track will walk away with a championship. Now, I know I said you had three competitions, right? I know what y'all really came to see, what they came to do, who came to see some freestyle! Well, monster Truck fans, that's going to be our last competition here this afternoon. It's our Monster Truck Freestyle Competition. It's by far my absolute favorite. And, you know, people ask me all the time, Corbin, what is so special about freestyle? Well, I'll tell you. It's no rules, no time limit. Anything goes. It's all out mayhem on this track. That's where these drivers get the craziest, ladies and gentlemen. You see, we mentioned things in the best trick competition, like, you know, the big air and the donuts and the two wheel moves. This is the combination of all those things plus more. These drivers can do literally whatever they want on this track. But here's the thing. They're all after one thing, and that's that checkered flag over there, right under Old Glory, that says Renegade Overall Event Champion on it. Because, see, here's the thing. Yeah. Driver, that's the most consistent in each of those three competitions. He doesn't necessarily have to win any of those events, but based on uh, consistency, based on how many points you score in each one of them, that determines where you are in our overall event championship. So each driver is going to build up points. We're going to keep you up to date with who is going to lead towards that overall event championship. Right now, we just met him as CJ Ratu. Can CJ keep that flag? Or will somebody else take it from him? Maybe it's going to be toxic and illuminator taking it from him. It's all going to happen right here on this track. But I guess there's only one thing left to do, and that's to ask you guys a question. Petersburg, Maryland, who's ready for the Renegade Monster Trucks?
many monster truck drivers are in the house. The future of this industry. Ladies and gentlemen, the first one. He is 12 years old from Seneca, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet for Logan Mini Toxic! And introducing next, she is nine years old, representing for all the lovely ladies out there, all the way from Tampa, Hannah Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Kinsley. She is Lady Love. And rounding out the field of many monster truck drivers, ladies and gentlemen, at 12 years old. Sending it runs in the family. Ladies and gentlemen from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, put your hands together for Garrett Mini Steve. I got another question. Do you want to meet the monsters? Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, he is a second generation hot shoe driver. Representing for Team Throttle Monster. You've seen him on other tours. You've seen him on social media. And today, he comes running with the Renegades. Out of Jonesboro, Illinois. Make some noise for Logan Tweedy. Kamikaze! Rain's actually blowing my camera up. Yeah, it like, keeps raising it. And ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at one of the newest monster trucks for the 2024 season. The driver behind the wheel, the former race car driver. Now he's behind the wheel of these 10,000 pounds destruction making machines. Out of Seneca, Pennsylvania, make some noise for Joe Lockhart. And ladies and gentlemen, on one our second generation feet now behind the wheel of this 2011 Chevy Silverado Monster Machine from Bloomington, New Jersey. Put your hands together for Bad Boy Billy Brockman, Shopper! From Lancaster, Pennsylvania, get on your feet for Sandex CJ Matthew! Oh, Great state of Maryland, to be exact, 
Frederick, Maryland. Ladies Woo! and gentlemen, most popular independent monster truck drivers in the country, and he's romping and stomping in his home state. Make some noise for Preston Perez and Toxin!
don't think the winner should be Shockwave! How many of you don't think the winner should be Shredder? How many think it should be Jurassic Attack? How many think it should be Skinner Unleashed? How many think the winner should be Toxic? They're opening on the 60 second clock. If he cannot start the truck in 60 seconds, I believe he'll be de uh, DQ from competition. So Shredder will be getting a bye run into our. Can he make it out? He fires, ladies and gentlemen!
winner should be B away. All right, who thinks the winner should be Shockway? Who thinks the winner should be Strutter? the whole time and took home the checkered flag again. Hopefully I can defend it again tonight. I love you guys here in Gaithersburg. It's an awesome charity. You always come out and support us. I can't thank all my sponsors enough. Vince, ATI for the transmissions. 717 rounds for keeping that truck 100% looking nice all the time when I'm not destroying it. Stone, Wayne Stone just for supporting us. Pro things for keeping us looking good with these shirts. Thank you guys for coming out and hopefully we'll see you again tonight if not next year.